Hey! Welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I am making Instant Pot Chicken Bacon and Ranch Sliders. So I'm Kristen. I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com. And today I am sharing with you another Instant Pot recipe because it's Instant Pot Monday. So every Monday I'm sharing a new Instant Pot recipe. So make sure you check out all my Instant Pot recipes, especially if you're a beginner. Now, before I get started on this recipe, be sure to subscribe to our channel and push that little bell to get all of our notifications every time we post to YouTube. All right, guys, let's go make these Instant Pot Chicken Bacon and Ranch Sliders. If you don't have an Instant Pot, don't worry, you can still make it in the slow cooker. I'll put the recipe link down below in the description. You're going to start by putting three chicken breasts inside of your Instant Pot. Then you're going to add two cups of chicken broth. Close your lid and make sure you're on sealing. Push the manual button and arrow up to 10 minutes. When it's done, you're going to let it release naturally for 10 more minutes. When you're all done, you're going to take the lid off and put it to the side. Next, you're going to drain the juice from your chicken. So you just want just the chicken in there. You can save your broth for later if you want. Next, I'm going to take one 8 ounce cube of cream cheese and put it in the bottom of my Instant Pot. Now my Instant Pot is still hot, so that's why I put the cream cheese in there so it can melt a little. Then I'm just going to shred my chicken. When you're all done shredding your chicken, go ahead and mix your cream cheese in with it. Now it's time for the ranch. I added one and a half tablespoons of dry ranch dressing. Next, add some bacon bits. You can add as little or as much as you like. And just stir it all up until it's well combined. Now your chicken will shred a little bit as you're stirring, which is totally fine. Now it's time for the sliders. So I got 12 Hawaiian rolls that I just sliced the tops off of and put the bottoms in a 9 by 13 pan and I'm just gonna add my chicken right on top of it. Now these sliders are actually really thick. If you don't like them this thick, you can use another 12 rolls or you can just split the recipe right in half. Next you're gonna add about one and a half cups of cheese. I like this three blend cheese from Kroger, but you can use whatever cheese you like. Now you're going to broil this for two minutes or until your cheese is melted. Now you want to make sure that you watch it so your sliders don't burn. When you're all done, you're just going to put your rolls on top and serve. I like serving this recipe with a side salad. Now you can also make taquitos out of this recipe. I'll make sure that I put the recipe link down below in the description for you. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you have a wonderful Monday and happy Instant Pot cooking. Now, be sure to push that little circle so you can subscribe to our channel and check out my other Instant Pot recipes right there on the right. All right, guys, we'll see you next week.